What's up guys, this is iTweets here, and today I'm going to be bringing you something incredibly awesome. This is a new tweak that just hit Cydia called Controllers for All. Now what this tweak is going to allow you to do, as you can see I have a PS3 controller right here, and it's going to pair the PS3 controller to your iPod, iPhone, or iPad. So this is going to be incredible. So it's really easy to set up, all you need to do is download the tweak. And then I'm going to put a link in the description below for you guys to download just a very small file and then you're going to pair the devices using that file. So let's go ahead and jump over to my Mac. Now you can do this on Windows as well, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it on my Mac. And here on the Mac we're going to go ahead and download this file right here. And once you download it, I'll put a link in the description below, it should automatically download. Just go ahead and double click on it and then it's going to give you this box right here. So let's switch back over to the iPad and the controller and then what we're going to do is plug in our uh, controller right here and then we're going to switch over to the iPad and we're going to plug that in. So once you have both of these plugged in, it's really pretty simple. We'll switch back over to the Mac here. Then all you have to do is click this button right here and it's going to automatically pair it. So now they're paired. Now just unhook the PS3 controller and the iPad and then it's as simple as launching a game. All right, now once you're paired, let's just go ahead and jump into the settings. I'm going to show you exactly what you can do in the settings and what it installs. First of all, you get two control panels here, one being controllers for all, and you can email your pairing instructions to yourself if you're having issues getting this set up. Now, also you have suppressed notifications. You'll notice once I launch a game, you're going to get some notifications, so you can suppress those if you want to. You'll also get BT Stack. Now, this is what you want it to be selected on. You want it to be on BT Stack when you're going to launch the game. So now let's go ahead and jump over to a game. Now these games do have to be uh, enabled for hardware, external hardware. Uh, so there are going to be some games that don't work with it, but there are a lot of games that do. You see the notification up there, initializing, please press the PS3 button. So just go ahead and press it. And then it's going to connect to the PS3 controller. So it's as simple as that. So let's go ahead and play some of this and let's see exactly what we got. Okay, so... This game is Dead Trigger 2, so you can play this with the PS3 controller. And you can see if I switch weapons, you can aim down the sight right here. Alright, I just completed a mission. But, I mean, all the buttons work completely well. I mean, you have full control of the entire thing. There's no need to actually touch the screen for any reason whatsoever. And the really cool thing about this is if you have Apple TV, then you can set this up and make it stream onto your TV. So, I mean, this is going to bring a whole new thing to iOS gaming. I mean, it's going to completely revolutionize it because this, I mean, I don't hardly ever play games that are first person shooter on the iPad or iPhone or anything like that because it's too hard to control. But you can see here, I mean, it's extremely simple. I mean, all you got to do is use your controller like you would on a PS3. But you can see exactly how this works. I mean, it works flawlessly. It's 100% accurate and immediate. So this tweak is only $1.99 in Cydia, and I mean, this is totally worth it. Now, let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see a top 10 iOS games video that supports controller for all, this tweak right here. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.